Do you know where you can get an award-winning chicken sandwich in Charleston? Well, we're about to find out. Hi, my name is Danielle Edge with the Chapman Group at Carolina Elite Real Estate, and welcome to another episode of the North Chuck Cookup, where we hook you up with all things Charleston and lifestyle. Today is Woody Fridays, and we're hooking you up with award-winning fried chicken sandwiches. They are locally sourced, and you know that we love supporting our local businesses. There is a science to making great fried chicken, and as a southerner, I am super excited to have tried Boxcar Betty's Southern Fried Chicken. Boxcar Betty's have several locations located in North Charleston, Mount Pleasant, and West Ashley. Today we're at the North Charleston location located at 7800 Rivers Avenue in North Charleston, South Carolina. So we are standing here with Mr. Ira Hill. And first of all, thank you so much for having us today. We are excited to be here at Boxcar Betty's. So I want to ask what makes Boxcar Betty's unique from other fried chicken places in South Carolina. Right, so we were in the fast casual segment of okay. the industry, which means we're competing with other brands um, that we would grab and go, okay. essentially. Um, so in 2014, the two owners of the brand, uh, Ian McBride and Ron Scott, they wanted to set themselves apart within that business segment. Okay. So they wanted to do a few things extremely well. Mm -hmm. um, so they wanted to do a, a new take on a classic Southern dish, which is French. Um, a lot of people have made their success with, you know, providing a piece of chicken, mm -hmm. bread, pickles, and then that's it. Right. We offer a number of homemade offerings with southern style grandma finger licking fried chicken. So for us, uh, we brine our chicken, mm -hmm. we have our own um, house mix for our seasoning. Okay. Um, and the way that we fry it, we just want to make it feel like you're at home. Right. Um, but, but the level is a little bit elevated. So tell me a little bit more about, I know the pimento cheese yeah. is also homemade, that's so right. that's a southern favorite. That's exactly that. Right. You don't get that much on, on a fried chicken That's sandwich. right. That's right. So the uh, one of the owners, he sort of, I remember the days where he was, we were working um, in a fine dining restaurant in downtown Charleston. Okay. And we were all servers, but so we've been tasting food and we've been sampling people's recipes for years. Right. Right. And so for us, um, this was just the next step in sort of brainstorming and saying, what flavors go together? Never mm -hmm. in my mine would pimento cheese, right. peach coleslaw, pickles, spicy mayo, and a piece of fries. Peach coleslaw. Okay. All go together on the same sandwich. I wouldn't do all of that. Right. right? Stylistically. <laughs> but for him, those flavors meshed well. Okay. And he was right. Yeah. He was right. Now at first I'm thinking, who's gonna buy that new fried chicken sandwich with peach coleslaw? Mm -hmm. And it is a hit. It is a hit. So I'm hungry after yes. you told me all that. Yes. So let's go kind of just see what you all do here and how you prepare your chicken sandwiches. I'd love to do that. So y'all know this is my favorite part of any episode of Foodie Fridays is trying the food. So what do we have here? Yeah, so you have a build your own. Um, and I think when you're build your own, you have peach coleslaw, you have pickles, you have barbecue, and you have tomatoes. So that's okay. the first thing. I'm excited for this peach coleslaw. That's really good. This fresh is light. And then, is it cold, like cold? You make it cold? So, the, the coleslaw? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, we make it fresh every morning. Mm -hmm. And then, um, we throw it out at the end of every night. We don't okay. want any extra coleslaw. So, everything's fresh. That's right. So, in the chicken, we, we cut the chicken every single day. Mm -hmm. uh, coleslaw we made every day. We make our tomatoes either that day or just the evening. Or we try to keep everything as close to brand new as possible. How do you get the chicken so juicy? Yeah, so that process, uh, we brine our chicken, okay. right? And so that's a salt water solution, and then we add our own herb mixture inside of it. We let it sit in there for a set amount of time, depending on the amount of salt in that solution and the amount of chicken that we have. Okay. And that causes that chicken to swell with all of that flavor. So a lot of times you'll go out to places to eat, and the flavor's on the outside. Mm -hmm. but once you start sort of chewing the food, the flavor disappears. This is how you get the flavor on the end. Uh, and this one is the favorite too, right? Yeah, that's the not so waffle. We took pimento okay. cheese off of your sandwich for you, but that does okay. come with pimento cheese and bacon jam and maple syrup and red tomato. And this is the maple syrup. That's exactly right. And then next, sweet potato fries, cinnamon, sugar, nutmeg on them. Okay. Um, we take our sweet potato fries and we make them super crispy for you so you don't get soggy fries. 
They look really good. Really, that's one of my favorite tools. Uh, it's, it's fresh too, and it's not too sweet. That's right. The Balance. Powder. That's right. So now that you have an idea of what Box Not Babies does and how they do it, they are located at 7800 Rivers Avenue in North Charleston, South Carolina. You can also visit them on their website at boxcarbetties.com. Boxcar Betty's is just one of the several locations in Charleston, South Carolina. If you have any additional questions about Charleston or your real estate needs, my contact information will be listed below. Thanks so much for watching. Again, I am Jane Gill, and we'll see you next time on Food Friday.